Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I am back on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel to celebrate the release of Murders at Karlov Manor with a detective typo deck. Yeah, now there are a whole bunch of detectives in Magic, and we're gonna build around it today. Our lead detective is Alquis Prof, Master Sleuth. This is a 3-3 vigilant human detective, and when it enters the battlefield, investigate. Then, for X, white, blue, blue, tap it and sacrifice a clue. You draw X cards and you gain X life. That's the text of an old card called Sphinx's Revelation. And like many who have seen a few magic sets come and go, I remember the days of Sphinx's Revelation and the joy it brought to me in Standard. We're going to relive that today with Alquist Proft. So, I'm looking forward to seeing if we can sacrifice some clues to draw a whole bunch of cards and gain a whole bunch of life. But that's not the only detective we have up our sleeve. Ezrim, Agency Chief, is one and a white, white, blue, blue, five total mana for a 5-5 five, five flying legendary Archon Detective. And when this enters the battlefield, investigate twice. Then you can sacrifice an artifact, and Ezrim gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink, or Hexproof until end of turn. You're sensing a clue theme. You're sensing that if we have little clues and other artifacts to sacrifice, we can do very good things with them. You how astute, how very astute of you. Let's go on down the list of how we acquire such trinkets. Steam Core Scholar is a weird detective with flying and vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery or creature with flying. We have several of all of those to keep the cards flowing and the detective action happening. Novice Inspector is a human detective for one white, a one two. When it enters the battlefield, investigate. More familiar text from the ghosts of standard past here. I remember a certain Thraben inspector, but those aren't on Ravnica, they're on Innistrad. Hmm, nice to have the novice inspector joining the team to put that kind of effect in standard. Now, once we have those things, we need a payoff for our detectives. Case of Pilfered Proof, it says that when a detective enters the battlefield, we get to put a plus one plus one counter on it. We can also solve this by controlling three or more detectives, and that means if one or more tokens would be created under our control, those tokens plus a clue are created instead. A way to gain more and more artifacts. And if that weren't enough, we are going to make even more and more and more artifacts with another fabulous detective, among other types, Roaming Throne. Yes, when this enters the battlefield, we're going to choose detective so that whenever we investigate or resolve something like a steam core scholar, we are going to get multiple instances of those triggers. Topping it off are, it's the support team for the detectives. We got Warden of the Inner Sky, and Warden puts all those clues and other tokens that we might acquire to good use by letting us scry and put plus one, plus one counters on the Warden. Get Lost removes stuff and throws more map tokens around. Subterranean Schooner is just one of the best things you can do for two mana and works with all of these little creatures by helping us explore. Denik is excellent against Mono Red and decks that want to use the Graveyard by giving us a life-linking body, and the Pious Apparition side makes clues, so that's nice as well. We top it off with a new card, No More Lies, a new but very familiar card, as it says counter target spell unless its controller pays three, giving off those sweet, sweet mana leak vibes. But this time, if that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it in its owner's graveyard. That can be very relevant against many things in the format that want to get back out of that graveyard, so it's really exciting to play with no more lies. And this, for you, no more lies, we are going to dive in and get into the gameplay. Let the murders at Karlov Manor nonsense begin. On the draw, we've got cheap plays for days. Definitely going to be a strong warding game. That's exciting. When it's got some tap lands to start off, let's give him the novice inspector, the second warden. And we can use the unsummoning sick warden to get bigger. We want the untapped land. 
Yeah, I guess so. We need to get up to Ezrim. Hit. Well, that was sad. <laughs> Give it back. I want it all back. Temporary lockdown. It was more temporary than they would have liked. Cool, more, 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 more. Ah, okay, okay. They saw me mill to the top. They might mill me here? Nope, they just shrink the warden. Six loyalty is a lot. And they might be trying to get me into a sunfall. We gotta tread carefully. Did it enter the battlefield this turn? No, it couldn't. It wouldn't be untapped. One, two, three. Okay. This won't affect our All right, since we made that map token, we can tap these three, use the warden. We want to keep untapped land. One life from a tranquil cove. Founding the third path. They take their mill very seriously, it seems. They get to cast an instant sorcery, sunset revelry. Yep. They didn't gain the life, though, because of our darker wastes. Our plans are beyond your comprehension. Hmm. Do we send the anchorage? Try to finish this off. I mean, is their hand that good with cheap two mana removal, sunset, founding, jace? Is there also a go for the throat here? A good question. This we can get over the top. If we get it to three damage. It would take the Jace off the field, but it won't do that. I think we try. Maybe a, a Scry can give us a hint. That's a pretty cool card. <laughs> Big old 2-6 coming in, but we'll also send the anchorage and try to kill Jace once and for all. That Warden of the Inner Sky is is up there. They milled a Denic, which can come out as a pious apparition. What we really need against them is no more lies. If we can draw that card, I'll feel like we're way ahead. Okay. More of the same. But they just put on chapter two. Oh no, they put on chapter one, but they didn't cast any. That's weird too. That's also very strange. There's some bizarre stuff going on here. Let's start here. Let's get a little look at the top of the deck. Get that out of here. I'm really trying to get to no more lies. Doing anything I can to find that card. Because we could draw into it with the clue. And I think I'm going to take a shot. Because I'm really afraid to breach the multiverse specifically. I cannot get there. We're gonna cast like a sunset revelry out of the graveyard. I believe it has to be an instant or sorcery on chapter four. Yeah, so it can't be the temporary lockdown. It can't be the Jace. 
I guess we gotta keep pushing. If they have, a, like, a sunfall. Ouch. They milled my roaming throne! As well as another Ezrim, which I was trying to keep out of the system in case they do run Breach. The tap land, they had the untap land. They could have breached there, they didn't. We drew the card. We drew the flippin' card. Nice apparition. New inspector. Not that bad. Hit him hard. We got all that open mana. They didn't sweep the board. Now they're at four. Let's see what they do. Denik turns off bounding of the third path. They cast Impulse. So excited, I kind of punched the microphone. All right, maybe they're finding Sunfall. Temporary lockdown which hits the whole board, and they have three mana open. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But they're at four. Let's see what they can do about this. One card threatens lethal. They can't kill it. They can't kill it. Ezrim's too powerful. We could sack the clues with our open mana to give it hexproof. Vigilance if they have a wandering emperor. They're done. On the draw, plenty of two mana plays. Opponent leads on Rafine's Tower, Esper Colors, and a bat. So, already expecting some Rafine action. Here's what they'll take here. And we'll be left with a lot of options going into the next turn. I take the get lost. Unfortunately, I can't just kick back with no more lies, but on the draw, if I pass and then they do nothing, I'm trying to give myself time to draw lands. And I guess that's what we do. On the draw, we just have to do this. Counter whatever they play. Hope they don't have Cavern of Souls or something like that to make something uncounterable. And try to draw into land. All right, it's going well, it's going well. I think they're very much like a Rafine creature deck. So hitting their, their threats with counters seems good. Case of the Stashed Skeleton, they have new cards. This is uh, one that makes a 2-1 potentially menacing skeleton because it gets suspected. And then when the skeleton's gone, you can use it, sacrifice it to tutor your deck. Very cool card. Very cool card. Four mana. Let's drop a schooner and a denic. There's the Rafine. They they were very careful with this Rafine because they know how important it is. And they discard the power of Aklazots, which is I mean that's a big creature to discard. Two mana open could be a counter. Let's see what happens when we send a schooner at them. Rafine can clearly block it. But we're trying to dig up some land with the Explorer. And they're going to use Bitter Triumph. So we got Bitter Triumph out of there. They still should be afraid of a Wandering Emperor, so they don't block. Now let's see if our detectives can dig up some land. There's some. We'll drop this Scholar. Hit this land drop. Throw it to the opponent. Maybe next turn, Ezrim. Protected. Unless the opponent digs up a counter spell. Hmm. They seem concerned. 
A little bit of a risky attacking with the bat there. You have to discard a spell to give it the counter. And you see, they're, they're, they're a little cautious here. They're a little afraid. Never mind. <laughs> they're, they're fine. <laughs> wow, two spells, including Lazav. That up to a 4 4 lifelink seems like a good card. Question is, are they hanging on to an Urtai? Make disappear, no more lies. Kaya? What the heck is this? New Planeswalker. I like a Plus one. Make a spirit. I surveil, exile a card from your graveyard when one or more creatures you control and or creature cards in your graveyard are put into exile. You may choose a creature card from among them until end of turn. Target token you control becomes a copy of it except as flying minus two exile target creature you control for each other player exile up to one creature that player controls i read it i still don't understand it i'm lost in the sauce the throne well for sure you need to come out and play and then, I don't think we hold it back to block. Do we send at Kaya? It's a lot of resources. A lot of resources. And then we're taking God knows how much next turn. We're at 12. Like, how do we stay alive? This We'll have to give this lifelink and vigilance, I think, to keep it alive. I think that's okay. Can't let them be kicking a planeswalker. Hmm. Well, I have the mana for this. It does match my curve. It could be big, but actually I don't, right? Because I need to play the roaming throne and I need to use the ability of Ezrim. You call that an attack? I still am not completely sure what this does. And I can see the opponents doing some new stuff with the graveyard. They've got the Lazav, where are faces? Show me, I guess? I mean, that's how good Esper is. You can add like anything to the Esper shell and it's good. Rafine, Bat, and then just make up the rest of the deck. You'll probably win. I'm just hoping that they haven't read this card carefully. Here they come. Five. Five is not much. Last card. Oh my God. It's huge. And then land to cast it. How perfect. How absolutely flawlessly perfect for them. Prevail to exile a card from a graveyard. Author? What? Okay, and they got my... Denik out of my graveyard. Sure, why not? I'm pretty sure they've got this. Uh, cool. <laughs> Great time to show off our detective synergy. Aha! Gotcha. See, it's a detective deck. I concede. Warden too strong. On the draw with lies? <laughs> It's a weird thing to say. Let's see how far ahead the opponent is by the time we get to play some cards. Ooh, the Get Lost might be a good draw. Or Hound. That's a new card. Never a creature power two or less enters a battlefield surveil. This curve is going to fill their graveyard fast. I think we just have to pass because we're on the draw.
All right. Roots is the new card. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, put an 01 plant token and then put a plus one plus one. I think that's the thing we have to stop. I remember this card in the set review. It's a, a very dangerous looking card to me. All right, Schooner and Inspector to crew it. This puppy, man. Oh, okay, just have double. Yeah, that's fine. All right, can't block it because of Menace, but at least they didn't get to make anything leave the graveyard yet. And I have four to attack. I don't think I can. I think I can make this thing get lost before it does anything good. That is a play we have to make. What is this? Exile it from your graveyard, create two bats. Okay. I mean, they really are into the graveyard. Revenant. It's, what a curve out. What an absolute bodying curve out from our opponent. Just not even just no problems and it is descended whenever they draw a card i will lose a life they will gain a life am i too far behind is it over Let's dig. Okay, there's a removal spell on top. Could be worse. That is the card that when enters mill three and then you can pay four to return all lands in the graveyard to the battlefield. No attack. Interesting. Very interesting. In that case, I think we scry again. I think they're going to make bats. They're going to make bats. I'm trying to decide if and when to use the Master Sleuth ability to draw some cards, and I think it's got to wait. So this has to be able to fly. One, two, three. We're not quite there. I mean, I'm very curious to see if they can push over the top. They're gonna get lands out of their graveyard. That is very strong. Look at those cottages, those four fours. That's very, very strong. Another revenant. My goodness. No chill. No chill whatsoever. All right, they just binned a Dream Thief, which lets them draw more cards, which means we have to kill one of these. All like it's like over. Should have been the one without summoning sickness. I thought I targeted it, but I did it wrong. Oh my god. Like, are you kidding? They've used every bit of mana every turn. It's been like the most beautiful curve out I've ever seen. Alright, I guess we're drawing three. Yay for tap lands. 
I I concede your greatness. Oh my goodness. What a bodying. What an absolute bodying. On the play. Oh my gosh. They can't touch me on the play. It's impossible. Anytime I get to go first so I don't have to like cast a get lost or a no more lies to not lose the game on turn two. Yeah, they're they're dead. It's over. Mono red means nothing to me. The Scoon Scoon. Hold up the crew and block potential. Tapped land and they play red white. Well, that was their mistake. Just play mono red. You'd be winning right now. Okay, here's a siren. We have some interesting options. We can grow the warden of the inner sky or we can attack with the schooner. I like the schooner and I like getting counters on the warden because eventually it gains flying and vigilance if you get counters on it. They don't have to come from using the tap ability. Invasion, nasty. Do we stop it? Or damage and it kills my siren, we stop it. We have to take two damage just to stop it, which is nasty. Can I say nasty again? Against mono red, nasty is the word in my mind most of the time. All right, what are we doing? Play another warden. Increase the size of this warden. Attack with the schooner? Or do we have to block with the schooner? I think we have to block with it. We could also just not play the get lost and run these out, but at some point we have to blow up the opponent's attack with the get lost. That's how we get back in this game. So let's go like this. Untap land next turn? No, don't need it. Here they come. Could be Witch Stalker Frenzy. Let's go straight to the block, just in case. A braid would be really rare, but it's possible. And they're gonna Helix the Warden. Okay. In that case, we'll take out the Swift Spear. They didn't get that damage through. That's nice. Map token hits land. Map token hits Chandra. I bet that the only white card in their whole deck is Lightning Helix. That's that's my, we're gonna call that my suspicion as we move forward in this game. Let's keep doing this to keep forcing them to find ways to get past me. The Chandra. I hope you like your order. They exiled Sacred Fire, idea. another burn spell. Does two damage to any target and you gain two life. You go face. Okay, they can't attack now because of the schooner. So let's get rid of the Chandra. Just when I was having a good time. <laughs> oh, my detective payoff. You're arriving at the perfect time. Let's keep this up. That's much better. 
Now we can also attack with an anchorage here to have a new map token. Or we can get this down. I guess it's good with the scholar coming next turn. They're gonna try to raise the plus one plus one counter level of their etching, but they hit a land. I'm sure at this point they would love to hit non-land. And they got play with fire. So much burn. If we don't find a Denic, we're in big trouble. They bend the play with fire. Most burn mages could never do such a thing. All right. At this point, we have to try to preserve our life total. It hurts, but this boat has to go. And a face down card, you say? Hmm. Interesting. What could it mean? Trigger. Counter. Cards in the bin. That's great. Nice to see all that land. Uh, all right. Now what? Something like this, probably. Tawara is a great card. It's too expensive, too inefficient. But there, we can start attacking. Uh-huh. Discarding two lands. They were flooded. Now they have a fresh three cards. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Combat. All right. No real choice here. I expect to lose one or both. Our best case is that they have to use removal. And they still lose their creatures. Awesome. Best case achieved. They still have two flashbacks. Ooh, Denik. We needed you. We needed you and you arrived. Let's go. I'm going to try to get some counters on Denik with the schooner attack. Not going to lie. I absolutely meant to leave back the siren. I got too excited. But, I guess make him kill me. He can power up a Restless Bivouac and attack me for three, but that's a lot of mana. Okay, they didn't draw this time. Can they get there? They have another land. Will Lightning Strike do it? It will. Do they have it? Or Helix? They do not. They do not. Triggers! Nice. I am wondering if they have a flyer. I can't think of one. A little bit of life gain. Back up to eight. Anchorage up. Clue sack up. Another Kimono. Ooh, it's tough in here. Uh-huh, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Helix. Okay. It's gonna sting. Good placement. Ow. Has to be here. Down to two. Another novice inspector. Can I afford to attack with a schooner anymore? Maybe I can't. Get a clue. Okay. We're at 11. I think it's just you. We've got to get out of this turn. We get out of this turn. We can threaten lethal crackbacks, which make them play different. 
Obviously, the case of the pilfered proof was the difference in the game. <laughs> nice to see some detective synergies paying off.